Hi, are you alive? Yeah, alive. And I, this is the first time I hear a sheikh saying hi. That you are a modern sheikh, my friend. Yeah, I was uh, checking through the YouTube, but I didn't see your live video. I am invisible today, you know. Because I'm trying to go on YouTube, you know, to really? see. But I don't know. I am. I don't know. Maybe maybe YouTube hide my channel. I don't know. But there is uh, uh, almost one thousand people. They join already. So I don't know why you cannot find me. So what is the video called? Uh, it's called God sent himself to be his son. Okay, one second. I just want to get the video, you know, in, order, in case you were going to post something. Yeah. Maybe you recently started. <clears throat> no. I mean, recently, yeah. I mean, not a long time ago. But it should be there yeah, if you are a subscriber. Yeah, on a Christian to... Prince Live. Because usually when your videos start, it says premiering now. All right, no problem. So, my friend, uh, we were asking uh, uh, about uh, something about Muhammad. Do Muhammad have faith? Does Muhammad have what? Faith, faith. Do he believe in anything? Well, he's a Muslim. He believes in Allah. Do he believe really in Allah? Well, of course, I I'm, mean, I'm according to my studies, yes. I'm really surprised. So how the Quran says in chapter 42, verse number 52, that he do not know what revelation is and he do not know what faith is. How, yeah, how, you, how that happened? Are you sure it says that? Yeah, I'm sure. Let me call a friend before I can uh, show you that. Okay, I called a friend and he confirmed that. Well, yeah. I mean, you read it, but... The problem is you never read it with understanding. Okay, you read it for us with understanding. That's why you are here, my friend. Uh, Quran uh, chapter, which which verse and which chapter? Chapter 42, verse number 52. 42, verse 52. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hmm. Chapter 42, verse 52. 4252. You're talking it's like a about music, my friend. Honestly, it's like a music. 4252. Unbelievable. I love this chapter. 4252. Muhammad getting busted. Unbelievable. Okay, read with me. In a similar way, we have revealed to you a spirit from our command. You did not know earlier what was the book or what was Iman. Hmm. But we have made it the Quran a light with which we guide whomever we will from among our servants and indeed you are guiding people to a straight path so no you read it with misunderstanding what this ver what this verse is saying mm -hmm. and i'm surprised i didn't come across it but what this verse is saying is that um indeed in a similar way we have revealed to you a spirit from our command mm -hmm. you did not know earlier what was the book or what was iman true faith but we had made it the Quran a light with which we guide whomsoever we will from among our servants. Meaning that the Quran is the last and final revelation which mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew when the perfect time was to preserve it so mm. that the people can be guided. And this is the book that will never be corrupted. Mm. Mm. That's the meaning of the verse. Okay, are you done? Yes, go okay. ahead. I want you to focus with me. Okay. Okay. Put your hands over your eyes and if like, you know, like little, you know, when you wake up, you know, in the morning, so you can see carefully with me. Read with me here, it says, you know nope. not, you know not what is the book, nor what is faith. What is that? Continue. Okay, you can continue, no problem. Continue reading. I'm listening. You did already. You did read the whole verse. I'm not going to repeat the whole verse twice, three times, five. No, there's no point. My point you is have here. To, you have to. No problem. You read you it. Okay. Continue. Read. Okay. Continue. You read it. Okay. You have to. So look. what? I mean, okay. We have the Quran light, but what it says, you do not know what book and you do not know what faith is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just listen. Hmm. When you when you're reading, mm -hmm. continue reading the full verse. No. So that you can get an understanding. Well, the verse is over. There's no verse, by the way, here. When Muslims, they say verse. This is something you store from our Bible. Even the Quran does not have chapters, does not have verses. This is something you, numbers, I mean, those are better. We do not even know how to make numbers. 
It says you know not. What is why, the book? Why exactly do you not? You, know, you know not. You not. know not what is the book. And you have so why, no... Why was, okay, do you know... Why do do Muhammad book? knew before he became a prophet? Do you know... Do he knew what faith is? And you listen? Well, I, I, I decided listen? to listen. You said continue reading. One second. One second. Calm down. You know, things are good. You know, just uh -huh. take a break. You're reading these stuff. Let us let us I be, let us became let us, let us became Hindu. Me and you do yoga. What does that mean? Come on, my friend. Just answer look, me. It says, look. "Know what is faith." Your prophet, he have no idea what faith is. He was an atheist. He was. Dude, are you, know you gonna talk? Or are you gonna let me talk? I let you talk. You don't talk. And then you said to continue reading. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm waiting for you okay. respectfully. If you want to say something, say something. I say if something. If you want me to talk, I'll it talk. It is time for you to say something. You said to me, continue reading. Okay. Hmm. One, that was back. That was earlier. Uh, two hours you ago. You said okay. you don't want to continue reading. Okay, now I'm ahead. answering. You. Wonderful. Go. You read this stuff. Mm -hmm. First of all, the biggest problem is you read them out of context. You don't understand them. Hmm. Second of all, when you look at this stuff in a way, I already told you who My I am. My friend, don't I tell me how to look at it. I want the answer. I, stop look, stop I, playing in the bushes. You yeah, know, there is not, no toilet paper to save you now. You can use only no, rocks and no, stones. No, 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 so no, don't, no, no, no. Don't I am play not games. Okay, bit. it says, listen. nor he have faith. Don't go around. Listen. I don't want you to teach me how to understand it. I want you to make it clear for us. That's all. I am making it clear okay, for then you. Go to the, there is, go to the answer. Is, Stop talking about how a, to read. And how, go to your prophet how to read. No, I'm asking you. It says that he has Or no he faith. couldn't read and write anyway. We, we, we never denied that, did we? Well, because you're ignorant. There's no word and says he cannot read. No, no, no. Right. That's why we know. That's why we have proof okay, that the Quran Abdul, is the word of Allah. We, we, will go, we will go there now later after we finish this one. So it says in Muhammad he never have faith. What does that mean? That, then, then why was the Quran preserved? The, change why? topic. The Quran never preserved. The goat ate it. Why? No. Oh, the the weak Hassan Hadith is showing. How it's how it's weak? <laughs> you stupid! You just said Hassan. Hassan mean good. How it is weak and Hassan? It's not backed up by chains of narration. <laughs> just stop. Stop playing games. Anyway, listen. I want you now to tell us. You see, you are going all over the place. You are like a chicken who is trying to say that she has an egg, but there's no eggs. You cannot lay eggs because you are a rooster. Or you forgot look, yourself. Look, so look how confused I, you listen. are. You are confused about your gender. You are a chicken who thinks it's a rooster. And this rooster can claim to have, to have eggs. And yet he has no eggs. But I ask you now, it says, know what is faith. Stop playing a game. I asked you the question 15 minutes ago, and until now you are going in a circle. So why Muhammad don't have any faith and he's 40 years old? What was his religion? He, he does have faith. I'm like I'm explaining to you once. All you have to do is be quiet. That's all. You, you, That's all. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm explaining to you once. He does have faith. When you read these verses, you have to read them with understanding. Okay. This is the biggest problem with you. You go you ahead. Stop several, being a stupid. Several, Here we go. He's talking about I'm my problem coming. now. Forget my I'm problem, coming. my friend. You now give me solve the problem. Forget about my problem. Each time I give you the microphone to answer, you says you don't understand. This is the real problem. This is the, I. We got it. We got it. It's you who's a genius. It says here, know what is faith. Muhammad, he did not even know what faith is, and you say he have. So are you are you saying the Quran is a stupid? No, the Quran is correct. You're not continuing. You're not continuing. Continue reading. reading the doesn't verse. matter. It says he have no faith. The word is so clear. No, what is faith? Continue reading. That's all you have to do. Okay. Shall I hang up on you because you will not answer me? I am answering you. Don't run you away. Then post a video so saying uh, I ran why away. Why you are I'm skipping? Here. Why you are skipping an important sentence? And you say continue reading because the word, the the, 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 the reading after have nothing to do with this. It said except it the says ones that, except the now ones it's that saying have, now we gave now we yes. gave you a book. Now we gave you a book. Now you will have a faith. Now, this is what it's saying. But before that point, Muhammad, you have no book. He have no faith. Do you agree? That's talking about the preservation of the Quran. What Quran preservation? Have he no did not give him Quran yet. This is before Quran. He says, you know not what is the book. No, you know meaning, not what he, is meaning, the book. meaning to the meaning to the Ummah, meaning to the Ummah, <laughs> all the people that are that are in the world, in the world, <laughs> there hasn't been a book that has yet come. Idiot. This is what happens when you try to squeeze an empty mayonnaise bar.
There's no mayonnaise. Even farting, there's nothing there. You squeeze him into tomorrow, nothing will come out. This is about reserve. What is reservation of the Quran, you idiot? And continue reading. What this guy is talking about? I mean, look how simple the verse. Even this one, they want to make it something else. And the funny, you claim that you are a sheikh and you never passed by this verse before? You are a skipper, aren't you? You like to skip things. Hey, Sheikh Jihad, how are you? Hello. Hey, hello, Sheikh Jihad, how are you? Yeah, I'm going to comment on that verse. Okay, go ahead. So, you knew not what is the book, nor what is faith. Mm -hmm. Simply put, my friend, this is referring to before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a prophet. So before he got any revelations, he doesn't know anything. Okay, wonderful. Until he got the knowledge. See, this is this is an answer of a, of a person who is being honest. That guy he was playing games. Thank you, Jihad. So guys, he, he, he don't know anything. He have no faith. So what was the faith for 40 years of But why, life? but why, why is that something that you, you think you want to get busted? Because before Moses, he got revelation. What does he know? He doesn't know anything. No, Moses, Before he, Jesus, he got no, revelation. No, what does no, he know? No, 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 no. You see, first of all, Jesus did not get revelation. Secondly, the prophet of God. You know, you see, don't you Muslim, you claim that even Adam was a prophet? Don't you Muslim? Adam was a prophet. Yeah, don't you Muslim claim, claim that Abraham here is a, he was a prophet? And uh, a, a couple of things. I want to bring hey, some hold Bible. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So now you don't no, say. You never let me so bring you don't no say, Bible. No, no, no. It's so you, when you say he, Moses don't have anything, this is a lie. You know? Because if you don't have anything, there's mean there's no Adam and there's no Abraham and there's no people before him. But those people they knew about God before before them. So you did lie about this one. Okay, Secondly, no, what, no, no, no. Oh, what so about now, Abraham? Now, oh, Abraham, wonderful, Abraham. You must tell me you lie. You say Muhammad was Abrahamic before he became a prophet. Correct. Well, I, I, I th that's a debatable issue. Some people say yes. Some people say no. Which people you are? Huh? Which one you are? The one who say yes, the one who say no. Muhammad was Abrahamic or he was not? But which, which one is you? Well, I, I, I know he was from Quraysh and I know what the Quraysh believed in. Yeah, I know that. And, uh, I know, I know, yeah, I know that Trump, he lived in Florida. I know, I know. What does this have to do with my question? I'm asking you, was he Abrahamic or not? I personally do not think he was Abrahamic, and there okay, are so many people was, who agree. So what he was? Huh? So what he was? Well, he was he he was with the my friend. I let me tell you. He me. believed in what the local community believed in. Okay, they believed in was, statues and idol, idols, idol worshiper, Hubal and. Had, uh, but yeah. he didn't know. He didn't know. What do you mean? Well, you just said to me. You just said to me. He believe in what the community believe, and the community believe in idols, correct? Yeah, that's what they believed in. Okay, so Muhammad was an idol believer until the age of 40. When he received revelations from Allah, he, he became the first Muslim. But there are some who believe he was Abrahamic. Okay. He he worship he worshipped one God. So they are wrong or they are right? This is the question because here it says nor what is faith. So if you say is Abrahamic, that's mean the Quran lie. This is this is something that we're not certain of. Well, you Muslims are not, not not certain of anything. This is why you keep saying Allah knows best. Allah knows best. Are you certain about anything? What is revealed in the Quran and what is in the Hadith? We're certain about it. Here we go. Okay, the Quran says he do not know what faith, and then you and then you answer to me not okay. not, not sure. As I said, yeah, this is before his revelation. Okay, so so Muhammad before his revelation was a pagan person. Maybe he was a Hindu. It's he, possible that he believed in what the local customs of the people of Quraysh okay, was so, believing in. Okay, so Muhammad before and God, what his so, and possibly what his what his uh, parents used to believe in. Exactly. So thank you very much, Mr. Jihad. I, I appreciate your honesty. You are more honest than the other potato. So 
Based on what you said, he believed in what his parents believe, and he do what his parents used to do. And what they used to do, they go naked around the Kaaba. Is that correct? Well, they go around the Kaaba, but they never went naked. Who said that? I, I never heard about that, okay? Okay. Don't I, start making things up. I, well, I always I like to make things up. Here we go. This is a weak hadith. I, I want you to read it. And it says, Hisham narrated in the authority of his father that uh, uh, Arabs, with uh, exception of Homs, whatever, blah, 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 Quraysh, they used to But I want to make a statement. I want to make a statement. Hold Just on, hold on, hold on. They whatever keep... he, whatever the Prophet believed oh, no, 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 in before no, 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 no. his revelation. Jihad, hold on. You, you just said he did exactly what his parents used to do. And here it says, yeah, they but used to just go, because they if, used if to go around, that, they... it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. A second ago, you said I'm making things up, and now it's not making up. And this is, by the way, I said to you, this is a weak hadith. So, do you have a comment about weak hadith? It's a weak hadith. Let me see the grade. It says this uh, this guy he have a, like a, a D, you know, the one who wrote the hadith. He's not good in grammar, you know. We can make our first mistakes. I cannot accept Hassan. You don't accept Hassan. Well, this is Sahih, my friend. It's not weak. Here we go. I'm just joking with you. Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 1219B. You see the B here? Like this is big uh, busting, you know, like busted. You know, it says, remember, remember the Hadith 1219 busted. Okay, so it says here that the Arab, and you said to me that the Prophet used to do the same as the Arab as his parents. They but used to go, zaman al Exactly, this is before with Muhammad, 40 years of his life. You are the one who agree with it. 40 years of Muhammad's life was in the time of a Jahiliyyah, which means the, the, the period of ignorance. So Muhammad was ignorant like the rest of them, right? And what he do, he take off his panty, he go around the cab, you know, like, you know, they see them in the movie. But, but why, but I just don't understand Okay, so even if that's true, how are you getting us busted with that? Because okay. he didn't have the knowledge yet. Hold on. So Allah, he waited so 40 years. So how you want to say that we're busted so Allah, by Allah, he waited 40 years of the life of Muhammad to decide that it is time for them to stop taking off their panty around the Kaaba. Isn't he offended all this time, all this year, even before Muhammad's birth? So if this is the house of God, why, why, why Allah did not send anybody? He sends My everybody. friend, don't, you, cannot, you cannot question Allah. Allah uh, does as he will. Okay, Allah does as he will. But shouldn't he not let Muhammad take off his pant and go naked around the Kaaba too? Well, we don't have any evidence that uh, the Prophet ﷺ did that. What do you mean? You are the one who just said, told me we, he used to do as his parents. A second ago, you forgot? It says their descendants circumambulated the, the house naked. Uh -huh. But there's no narration to say that the Prophet himself did this. It doesn't matter. Okay. You are, but you are the, I will use the narration of Mr. Jihad. Sheikh Jihad called me. He said the Prophet used to do as his the community. Correct? CP, just, just speak about things that you are certain about. I did. Just speak about you things are, okay. you have a clear I, evidence I, I, about. I, I have a clear Don't evidence. Don't give me anecdotal I evidence have a clear about evidence. I have a clear evidence in front of me that this is, was a new party, Kaaba religion sex religion and those people what i see here is that the people of quraysh used to do it some of the people used to practice this. question Jihad. okay i'm, why did I'm we, with why you did there we, why did why did why did they do that what is the, what kind of religion that religion required people go naked around it or around the house what is going on my there? friend there was so many pagans in so many parts of the middle east you know this okay that's what people they practiced until the prophet did come to them uh, Either Abraham uh, or okay. Moses, but nothing, nothing or changed. Jesus. Nothing changed. Muhammad, he came still. Oh, Muhammad. Okay, st listen, listen. Huh? Aren't you Muslims still naked around the Kaaba? You don't wear anything. You put a sheet around you. You show your half of your body. You wear no underwear, and you are just trying to be like the Hindus. If we go right now and search for Hindu clothing or Hindu priest. We will see that you are wearing exactly as the Hindu priest. This is clothes. Hajj. This is Hajj. Exactly. So you are copying the Hajj. You are, you are copying the Hajj of the Hindu 
and you there you have no religion Muhammad is just copying other religion the community you know if you look at the map you will see India is just in the cross across the sea from uh, from from Saudi Arabia a very very short distance you know a few hours by by uh, by little boat you can get from Pakistan which is part of India all this time you know and you will be in Saudi Arabia this is why those people are Indian they are not really there's nothing that's called Arab uh, so those Indian who came to this land Arab Al Arab they are uh, obviously they are Indian no, the Arab are not Indian. So what they are? They're not Indian. So what they are? They are the Arab. They are the pe the descendants of so the how, desert. So how you explain? The Jazeera Al Arab. How, how you explain? The Saudi Arabian how Peninsula. You explain, how you explain? They look the same exactly like people of Pakistan and India. Who look like Pakistan and India? The, those Arab. No, 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 no. The Arab do not look like Pakistan in India. They don't. No. Okay. Well, anyone goes here. We go. This is the. This is the. This is the prince of uh, of uh, Qatar, as an example. <laughs> isn't isn't he a Pakistani boy? My friend, do not put Arabs with Pakistanis and <laughs> Indians. Okay, it's not the same. <laughs> it is the same. You can tell. <laughs> I mean, it's a, they are Pakistani. You know, they are, they are here. They are look. Their face. With their my skin. respect to the okay. Pakistani. Okay, with my respect on, to the Pakistani. Okay, forget about the Pakistani and Pakistani. Now I'm asking you, why when you go to Hajj you cannot wear a clothing? You wear a sheet showing half of your body. If you are not copying the Hindus, you are copying who? Allahu A'lam, yani, this is... Ah, Allah knows best again, here we go. This is, you know, a cultural practice, so... So, it is not from God? This is just a community? This is what the Prophet said we should do. So we're gonna follow with the Prophet. Okay, so the, the Prophet he told That's you. That's all I can say. The Prophet he the told. Prophet you, said this. The Prophet he told you to go naked around the Kaaba wearing no underwear, no pants, no panty for the women and the guy. He we has, don't do the nude. He, we don't do the nude anymore. What do you mean you don't do the nude anymore? This is nude. What is this? Are you wearing anything? We wear the. We wear something now. So you you wear white ah, you, you wear, wear something white what you wear you wear a sheet like the Hindus the, the prophet the prophet did it and he told us to do it ah okay why the prophet did it he told you to do because the black stone it's a it's a holy tradition my friend. It's a holy tradition. It's a holy tradition. So the black stone is a holy tradition. What make it holy? Only Allah knows. Like we, uh, we, we cannot. You know, this we is why, cannot. This is why I cannot really, I cannot debate Muslims because they get me busted always. Only guys, look at this answer. Allah knows. Only Allah knows. That's it. He got me. I mean, what I, what I can say now? We cannot say anything. That's it. Allah only. But Allah but why do Christians go inside of a church and kiss a cross? Who, who they, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you Christians? And why do the Catholics on, on, kiss on, the on, statue on, and worship on. the Virgin Mary? My friend, nobody worship Mary. That's a lie. Secondly, yes, if, the Catholics some, do no, it. they don't. That's not that's not true. That's a lie. You know. Secondly, yes, they do. Even okay. the other sects okay. of Christianity. Okay, hold on, like hold, hold on. Can you give me can you give me a reference of a Catholic? They get the Catholic busted for oh, deity. Do you are you are a liar? Sure. And all on all those who say those things, they are just hateful people, liar like you. I'm asking you. Can you show me a reference of the Catholic? That they worship Mary. I will put it in the screen. Well, I have to search. Uh, so I will give you ten years. So that's a lie. Secondly, don't change okay. the don't yeah. change the don't change the topic. So now I want to bring Bible at some point, but go no, ahead. No problem. So now you say that the Prophet he made you do that, and he uh, he considered the black stone holy. We asked before why the black stone holy. No Muslim can answer. Why the black stone is holy? Ah, listen, I have a reference. Uh -huh. So, listen, uh -huh. when Catholics pray to Mary, they are not worshiping her. Rather, they are honoring her and asking for her intercession uh -huh. on their behalf. Uh -huh. So maybe, okay, intercession? Uh -huh. Who can intercede? You tell me. Mary is going to intercede now. Who is going to intercede? According to you, is interceding is a, is a shirk? It's a form of shirk. 
Okay, so guys, be my witness. He just said, interceding is a shirk. But isn't it your Quran says that Muhammad will intercede and your prophet, he claimed that? No, 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 no. But this is... Oh, no, see no, how no, you no, twist no, no. Everybody, you see how you twist Everybody heard you saying that. Let us go. Let us go and see. So intercession is a shirk. It's a pagan practice. Thank you very much. But it's the Catholic who is practicing on, it. Hold on, you don't hold want to on. answer about don't it. Don't change. You see, I did not say anything about the Catholic. You are the one who mentioned it and you lie. You say they worship her. It turned to be they are asking her to pray for let them. Let me show you. Let hold me on. send you the my, reference. My friend, <laughs> I asked people here uh, just today. I posted in my pattern. You want to pray for you know, people? Your, your fans here, they're listen, so listen, disrespectful. Listen, listen, listen. I just, today, I did, just today, I asked people in Portugal to, 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 to pray for people in Greece because they have fire. That's the, I'm asking them for intercession. Yes, to ask God. No, nothing wrong with that. So she is joining us in the prayer to pray with us. She is not Who? really the one. Mary. Mary? Yeah. So she joined. So you accept she this? Jo she, she joined. I'd accept or not. I'm explaining to you why they do that. So the, 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 the belief is that she is joining the prayer. And she is praying with us. And as long as she is Mary, she is a very the, one of the most uh, uh, decent women in this earth. And God, he chose her. So her prayer will be special. That's all. But nobody worship her. Now I'm asking you, it, you said that intercession is a pagan practice. And you're a prophet, he Which said. you guys are doing. And so you just admit no, that we don't. No, no, are a no, bunch no, of pagans. No, no, we don't. The, we, this is joined for a forest of a prayer. I say that we pray. Well, you, we, guys, you guys are pagan in my book. You are, no problem. You can say whatever you want. We, we don't kiss stones. We don't worship stones. We don't believe in holy stones. It is you, Muslim, who do that. And you are pagan. You are coming from the Hindu. Now, you will see that Muhammad is the one who do intercession to his... his, uh, his uh, his nation in the day of judgment and you are the one who said in the day of judgment no problem is different no nope. doesn't matter you said different. inter you said intercession no he's asking you now to pray muhammad he asked you now to pray for those who pray for him now they are going to he is going to intercede we for worship allah alone okay allah on. okay when you pray alone. when you when you pray your prayer go to who We worship Allah. And that's another question. When you pray, your prayer go to who? To Muhammad or to Allah? We pray to Allah. Okay. Do your prayer go to who? To Muhammad or to Allah? We pray to Allah. Okay. But your prayer goes to where? It goes to Allah. What if I show you it goes to Muhammad? What you would do? Hello? Here we go. This is your prophet claiming that the prayer of all Muslims goes to him. to Allah. You, the, your prayer goes to Muhammad. Read it carefully. Read it. Why are you are lying to us, my friend? I was going to make an admin in my chat. Read it. Yeah, read it. What? what, what the reference? Here we got the reference it? in front of you. What is it? I don't see it. Uh, yeah, okay, refresh your page. It's going to take. Did you say inshallah before you call me? This why you don't see it. Okay, the messenger of Allah said the man. Oh, you have a delay, huh? Okay. Can I, you make it? Can you make it clear on the screen? The I man. Don't, I don't know why it's not clear for you. I think it's clear for everybody. This is what I don't. In the like. most excellent of your days, so invoke any blessing on me on that day, for your blessing will be submitted. Your blessing will be submitted to me. Hmm. The companions as messenger. How can our blessing? Hmm. So where your prayer goes, and it's not a blessing, by the way. This is false translation. It says Torah Aliya Salatakum. Salah is not a blessing. What? It says here. We give blessing. I mean, we we we. Uh huh. So he is saying, make your salah uh, for me, and then your 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 salah will be brought to me. Does it say that? Your salah does not go to Allah; it goes to Muhammad. No, it doesn't say that, CP. What it uh, says that they read it. Here we go. Go ahead, read it. Read it. Get me busted right now. Don't do it tomorrow. Uh, as long as it doesn't say that, CP, read it and get me busted. Go ahead. I'm listening. I say it, it does say that. You say that it doesn't. Yeah, prove it. Go ahead. We honor the Prophet by sending our blessing 
to him. First but of all, so, it doesn't say the word blessing in we, Arabic. It says salah. We, the word salah. But is we, not we do it for Ibrahim too. Hold on. Hold we on. do it for yeah, Ibrahim but, but, too. Uh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Here, the, the the topic was your prayer goes to who? To Allah or to Muhammad? You said to Allah. You forgot. But does this hadith go against the Quran? This, not, this, this, this is Quran? not my this is not my business, my friend. The Quran is a messed up. But everything is, is a, the Quran is against itself. But this is not the topic now. Your prayer is not a blessing. They lie in the translation. Your prayer on Muhammad goes to Muhammad, not to Allah. My friend, my friend, mm -hmm. we send blessings to the Prophet. You understand me? You know Arabic, and, and there's nowhere here it says the word the blessing. This is number one. Can you show me the word blessing? If you can show me the word blessing in Arabic, I will shave my 25 foot beard. The word blessing is baraka. Okay, thank you. Guys, the word blessing is baraka. Wonderful. Where is where is the word baraka in the hadith? There's no baraka. I see the English. Okay, I will show you the Arabic. Here we go. It says, فَأَكْثِرُ عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ فِيهِ فَإِنَّ صَلَاتَكُمْ مَعْرُوضَ عَلَيْ صلاة. But you know, if yeah, you know, your, so salat, salat your, your prayer, people salat, they just want to silence uh, you, know, me. they don't want me to bring the Bible. You know, okay, you know, so salah is a prayer, not a blessing, because you, you are the one who said the word uh, uh, blessing is barakah. Thank you very much. So, barakah is a blessing, salah is a prayer. So, where your prayer goes, goes to Muhammad. So, who's God? Hmm. I like your Arabic, my friend. Salatikum, Salatikum. Yeah, Salatakum Maruda Ali. Who is the one who will receive the salah of the Muslims? Muhammad. They said to him, But how we are going how you are going to review our prayer and you are going to be dead? Look what he claimed. He claimed that we people of Prophet, uh, our body will not decay. So, is Muhammad is a zombie? Muhammad is dead, but he's alive. How the prayer will be received to Muhammad, and he can review it? I will. Uh, I will come back to you on this one. Ah, uh, you will come back to me. Okay, we will. We will go. Okay. But but but, 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 but you know, I don't just but, don't butt me. Because, Jihad, don't butt me, please. My friend, my friend, don't, don't butt me. Don't butt you, me, please. Don't butt, but, 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 but. I don't like you when you do butt, but honestly, like you maybe maybe your family like you when you do butt, but I understand. But for me, I don't like that. Let us go back to the topic. You mentioned because I be, that, because uh, uh, but, clearly but, but, you're but, prepared. Uh, but, 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 uh, don't butt me. So now listen. Now we what we what we got from you. That I Muhammad, cannot take the interpretation of CP. Don't take my interpretation. I'm, ta you, I'm taking. You, you I'm, ta put... I'm not taking. I'm giving you my interpretation. I'm using your interpretation. It's you who said that Muhammad, before the age of forty, before you start butting around, he was a pagan. It's you who said that. That's not an interpretation. So your interpretation, Mr. Jihad, that Muhammad, before the age of forty, he was butting around. He did not know what faith. He have no revelation, and this will destroy all the lies Muhammad. And they say to us that Muhammad was Abrahamic. Because if he was Abrahamic, well, he knew, he knew the book. If he if if he have, if he was Abrahamic, he have faith. But the Quran says he have he don't even know what faith is. Your prophet is not even a communist, my friend. Okay, that's a different issue than what you are just discussing. No, okay. this is, this is so not. This, no, this is the important issue. You know, the other things they come like a cement for between the between the bricks. Thank you very much. So jihad. As long we agree, me and you, we ag as long we agree, you, me and you, that Muhammad used to worship as the community used to worship before he became a prophet, which means for 40 years. We agree, both of us, right? Yeah, the same as Abraham. Okay. Or, no, not the same as Abraham. Not the same as Abraham. According to your Muslim stories, Abraham, he became a believer when he was a kid. Don't go there. My what? friend, all the prophets <laughs> had the same message. No, this is not, this, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. So, is is uh, so Muhammad was a mushrik for forty years, and you agree with that? So, do Allah forgive shirk? He does. He does. He does. He didn't let me finish. Uh, okay. He does when no prophet came to you. <laughs> when nobody came to you and you don't know 
Uh-huh. You don't have blame for what you don't know. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that makes but sense. But if actually. you okay. know, uh-huh. if you know, uh-huh. if the Prophet came to you okay. and you still are associating partners with Allah, then, then there will be blame on you. But no. in this case, there is no blame. Well, this is not See a... how I just got you busted. Oh, well, you got busted the Quran because the Quran said the opposite. Read carefully. Here we go. Inna Allah la yaghfurush an yushrak bihi wa yagh. So Allah, He will not forgive those who do commit shirk. He forgive all sin do uh, in less than that. Chapter four, verse number forty-eight. Chapter four, verse one sixteen. So Allah, He forgives sin anyway to who? To believers, right? Only believers in yeah. here and God. This is what happened to Jihad when he feel the heat in some areas. Okay, Jihad, what happened? Hello? Hello, can you hear me better? I hear you, I hear you. So in the Quran chapter four verse four. It's 14, cutting out a lot. It's all right, it's alright. You know, I will I will I will you know Allah knows best why the internet Hello? is not working, you know. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm holding. <laughs> yes, Mr. Jihad. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? All right, I hear you. Hello? I hear you. I hear you. I okay. Hear you. I hear you. Allah forgiveth not that partner should be set up with him. Okay. But he forgiveth anything else to whom he pleases. All right. So. Do, do Allah forgive? With Allah. Is that something to, to be? Sin is that something to be forgiven or will never be forgiven? But the, but, yes, this is peace. You have a peace here, but this is referring to if the prophet has come you clearly the fact that the verse was revealed means that the prophet came to them hmm. but before that allah cannot blame for what he, they don't know okay but the quran says that uh, you muslim you believe that allah he sent 124000 prophet and my you, friend you just got busted uh, uh, let you us see uh, uh, okay let us see who's getting busted allah he forgive not those who take partner with him so you're a prophet for 40 years was taking partners with allah maybe he don't even worship allah at all actually the quran says he don't worship allah he do not even know what faith is so now this chapter here in chapter 4 verse number 48 it says clearly that this is a sin will not be forgiven any other sin allah will forgive so muhammad he commit that sin so his sin will not be forgiven so according to the quran allah he will send muhammad to the microwave Okay, so you are saying this. I'm saying that you are. So I'm not saying this and that. This I'm, not, I'm not saying this and that. I'm saying the Quran. What the Quran saying? The Quran saying clear words. Allah forgive not anyone. He will not. If that's a but difficult. you do not know. You are putting your own meanings. The sea. What meaning? Mean? Okay. Do, do do I need to put my own meaning? I mean, the verse is so clear. Uh -huh. Even this one, I'm putting my own meaning. Allah forgive not that who take a partner with him. That's it. He will not forgive that. He will never forgive it. He forgive all other sin. But this one, no. Very simple. You said it yourself. Coming to them. Hmm. You know that. So don't twist things. What? I'm twisting what? Okay. Explain to us. Go ahead. You are aware that no prophet, hmm. if no prophet came to them, there's no blame. Okay. Did, you were mentioning okay, this the did, other did any day prophet, day did any prophet with, uh, came, with did, his parents. Okay, okay. Did any prophet came to Mecca before Muhammad? No. Uh, I thought Abraham. well, Ibrahim came. Thank you, thank you, guys. Here we go. He just said Ibrahim, Ibrahim came, but okay, hold on. In his time, hold on. No, it doesn't matter. So there is a there is a, a person who Not came to this his nation. Time. Okay, uh, okay. Don't you Muslim you claim that Muhammad is from Ishmael? They don't have Ibrahim. They didn't I'm have asking you, don't you Muslim you claim that Muhammad is a from descendant from Ishmael? Ismail. Yes. 
Don't you claim that he is descendant from Ishmael? So Abraham was there. Yes. According to you, Ishmael was there. And now you are claiming that nobody knows. Okay, hold on. So if nobody knows about, there's no prophet came before them. So the Muslim, they worship Allah. Is Allah the true God of Islam or he was a pagan God? Allah is the God of, of Adam. Okay, so here we go. So the Arab, obviously, they Allah. are. Okay, hold on. So the Arab, they are worshiping according to you, the God of Abraham. So how you say nobody came to them, and yet they are worshiping Allah, and beside him they worship pagan gods. So obviously, they have received a message from who? You will say to me from Abraham, no, from they Ishmael, did not, even your Muslim they claim, did not put, even your Muslim claim that Adam is the one who came first to the Kaaba, correct? My friend, so don't be, don't, don't be a donkey. Let us see who the donkey. I'm telling you okay, something. Uh, Abdul, listen, Adam, Adam. By the way, Adam is from India too. You know that, right? Adam is not from India. Oh, so you are saying your prophet he lie and your Muslim books lie? Isn't it you Muslim believe that Adam, Allah, he sent him down in Sri Lanka? That's you saying this. Uh, 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 me? I am All saying I'm... that? Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, guys. I am saying All that... I am telling you okay. before you jump, before, before you jump, yeah, Ibrahim was there. But the people, the, the people of Nabi Muhammad alayhi time did not have knowledge okay. of him. Uh, hold on, hold and on. And then I want the you... Prophet informed them hold on, that hold, Allah hold, hold on, is hold on. one God. Oh, uh, okay. It's just the Arabic word. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay. That's, uh, guys, word. that's an Arabic word. That's an Arabic word. We, we, we got it. It's an Arabic word. So let us see here. This is your Sheikh. Maybe you can listen to the Sheikh from uh, from YouTube so you can hear it and then just mute it after you finish hearing the Sheikh. He is explaining where Adam he came to. Now if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? Where he land? <laughs> he was he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hins. He came down in what is known as the Indo-Pak subcontinent, precisely Sri Lanka. There is. Did you, Did you hear it? Precisely Sri Lanka. He came to India. So, so I'm waiting. It. So when I so when I say that Islam based on Hindu Indian religion, obviously it is because your first man is an Indian man. There's a question. Where did he land? There's a question. Wait a minute. He was he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration. Okay, now, now mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. He came down in what is known as Indo. Mute YouTube. Indo. Mute YouTube. See? So you're a prophet, you're a prophet, and your religion is based in the Hindu belief. You believe that Adam, the first one who believed in God, he is an Indian. And he brought the religion of the Indian man with him to your land. And he is the father of all the, the, the Arab. He is the father of, you know, so he is the first man. So all the, according to you, believe that you are an Indian too. So stop saying, I'm an, stop saying to yourself, I'm an Arab. You are not. Either you believe what your prophet said. And here the, the scholar, he will quote for you, your prophet saying that. So either you accept what your prophet is saying. Or you don't accept it, so you Muslims are weird. You know, you are you are Abdul when you want, you are not Abdul when you want. When, when we got you busted, you say Allah knows best, and the best scenario you will hang up like last time. So obviously, all your religion is coming from the Hindu religion, the black stone, kissing black stone is holy in the shape of a vagina. Hindus they have a stone, present the man private part, the women private part, they put it in the middle of the temple, they believe it's holy, they put flower around it. They believe in fertilization, fertilization, and you must believe in the same. And even women, they used to go around the Kaaba naked, 
circulating. And then when they want to have a baby, they put their hand when they have their period and their private part and they place it inside the black stone. And this is explained why the black stone have a shape of a vagina. But the prophet put a stop to all this. Thank you, guys. Did you hear it? The prophet, he put a stop for all of this, so he agreed in everything I just said. The only thing he added, that a prophet, he uh, he stopped, but he did not. Didn't your prophet kiss the black stone? No, I I, I said he put a stop to believe How he put a in, stop in many no. gods. No, no, you see, also he still believe in the black stone, so he still copy what the Hindu believe. So still he have a vagina, so he still he practice the ritual of other countries or other belief. And now you say is that he stop other things, like what? Because the, the, Arab, the Arab at that time, they practiced it. Mm -hmm. So he practiced it too? I mean, that you just, so who's copying who? I thought he came to fix it. He made it blind now. So now he make it as part of Islam. Uh, he make it part of his religion. He, he made it from, okay. He make it what? The blacks, the, the Kaaba uh -huh. is is a cultural practice that the Prophet allowed it. So it is not from God. It is a cultural practice. Is that correct? No, the, the stone is from Allah. It's from Allah. So it's not cultural then. stone is from Allah okay and Allah so, knows best why he wants us to do it ah, Allah knows best here we go we go back to zero anything is embarrassment they say Allah knows best so your prophet never said to you why he wants you to practice a pagan practice by kissing a stone he never said the reason we never got the reason so how are we gonna know oh, well I got the reason how come you did not get it but should I show you a reason? It forget. It can for it can forgive sin. Exactly. So the black stone is uh, is God, because this is what paganism. It's about. an act of worship. It's an, it's act. an act. Thank you, of thank you, guys. Did you hear? Kissing the black stone. It is an act of worship. Muslims are worshiping stones. And this is an act of worship, and we just heard our friend here, Jihad. No, it's an act of worship to Allah. Okay, so you worship Allah by kissing a stone. So Allah must be a stone then. Because if Allah is not the stone, what does the stone have to do with Allah anyway? My friend, I'm not going to go with you because you are twisting things. Okay, that's, that's what you my do. Friend, it is you who said You it. have an agenda. Okay, I have an agenda. Wanna, so, you hate. So, you have an agenda. Listen, Abdul, I have an agenda for sure. Otherwise, everybody have an agenda. I only a fool don't have an agenda. I, my agenda has come here. Show everybody that Islam is a stupid religion. And I prove it in an honest, honest way. And you are my helper. So now you are the one who said, kissing the black stone is an act of worship. The black stone, when you kiss it, it forgives your sin. So you must then believe that if you, black, if you kiss the black stone, you are worshiping Allah. Correct? You are shown piety to Allah. Okay, so you are showing what? I lost your voice. Showing what? You are showing piety. Pa panity? Panty? What? Piety. Piety. Also, I don't know what the word piety means. But... And you are showing... Showing what? Well, you should go to English school. Really? Okay, tell me what that word means. I don't know. Who told you that? My, uh, somebody told you I'm, I'm Shakespeare. I the know. voice is cutting. No problem, because Allah is getting upset now. He's, you know, he's going to cut our line. Allah knows best why it's not working now. So now, my friend, so you kiss the black stone to show Allah Piety what? Why you kiss so the black stone? It's, being... it's an act of worship. That's what we learn from you. It forgive your sin. That's what we learn from you. And now... It's piety you... is being devout to Allah. Okay, so you cannot be devout to Allah. So the black stone is Allah then. Okay, did your prophet say that the black stone is the right hand of Allah? No, it's not. Is the black stone is the right hand of Allah? Allah is 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 above the arsh. 
This is another it's question. Not the black stone. This is another question. You cannot this, say that. Uh, 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 Abdul, this is another question. Did your prophet say that the black stone is the right hand of Allah? Show the reference. Uh -huh. Each time I want to show you, say the reference. I show the reference. Okay, let me show you the reference. Here we go. Give me a second. All right. Uh, show the reference. Look at this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Look at how disrespectful your fans I are. I know, come on. They're okay, both. I know, come on. Come on, Zach and I. Come on, listen. Okay. They have no respect. Uh, okay, I have no respect for sure. I don't respect and people. And you, I you have, always I interrupt. Have no respect you want to just silence me. Hold on, hold on. People call us pigs, monkeys, you know, filthy, nudges, nasara. You call us all kinds of names and you talk about it. respect. Shame on you. Read carefully. This is your Islamic website, and this is the reference. It says here that you're a prophet, he says. Did that I the, say that? Huh? What? Hello? hello? I heard the Messenger of Allah say, touching them, erase his sin. Yes, hello. Okay, you, you, I think you have a delay. I have a bad concoction. Yeah, I, 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 well, this is what happened when you use the internet of the neighbors, you know. I mean, come on, man. Hmm. Call me back. Don't go. Here you notice, by the way, how the answers change depend on the Muslim you talk to. The one before he try his best to be dishonest. The one after he is less dishonest. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الحجر الأسود يمين الله في الأرض. Okay, Jihad. Is, I, is the voice coming good? No, it's fine. Now I'm showing you the reference in the front of your eyes. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? It says... <laughs> oh, Abdul Rahman. Okay, it says... Al-Hajr al-Aswad yamin Allah. Fil ard yusafihu biha ibadihi. Yad yad al-Yameen? Where it says the Yad al-Yameen? No, it says Al-Hajr al-Aswad yamin Allah. Yamin Allah. The right hand of yes. Allah. Hmm. Yameen Allah. Yeah. Yusafihu biha ibadahu. But it doesn't mean literal. Okay. And... I will take it not literal. No problem. So why you kiss the black stone? <laughs> My friend, when we kiss the black stone, uh -huh. it is an act of worship exactly. to Allah. So you kiss the hand of Allah. Not the literal hand. What? So are you saying that the black stone is a virtual hand of Allah? But it's not virtual, it's physical. No, my friend, a man will say, my son is my right hand man. Or my partner in business no, no, but you is are my kissing, right hand man. But you are man. kissing, you are kissing yeah, a physical, just, no, no, this is different, my friend. You are kissing a physical object. And that physical object is called the, hand, the right hand of Allah. So... You, when you kiss it, you are kissing the hand of Allah. So, okay, is the sun a person? What? My friend, it's it's not literal. But, but it's okay. not literal. Is the black stone is the black stone a real stone or it's not literal stone? No, it's it's a stone. It's okay. A stone. Thank you. So the stone is a stone, and you are kissing what? You are kissing a stone. But it's uh, uh, yeah, we're kissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. It's an act of worship. Okay. You keep saying that, my friend. I agree with you. This is an act of worship. Thank you very much. So you must and you worship God by kissing stones. No, we worship God th through Salah. 
No, you just Hola. said, you just said, come on, you just said that kissing the stone is an act of worship. But this is something we are required to do only one time in our life, no, at that, minimum. That's, that's not true, that's not true. <clears throat> or minimum, guys, minimum. Oh, okay. No, anytime you go around minimum. the house, because now you don't have access to the Kaaba, not everybody can go. Which additional proof that Islam is false because if Allah order all the Muslim to go and do Hajj and then the Kaaba cannot take all the city of Mecca cannot take more than a hundred thousand or seventy thousand you know in, in, in one week and then the total will be like maybe two millions after after uh, the whole uh, uh, extending the period to make the Hajj that means that Islam is not valid because how all those Muslims can go to Kaaba nobody can go if you live 60 years of your life dreaming to go to do hajj waiting for your turn based on the number of the population of the muslims you will never be able to do so unless you are very lucky to give you a visa because there's limited people can get into the city for it cannot handle the number so this is a false religion even by this by this reasoning but now let's go you kiss the black stone as an act of worship and the black stone according to you is sent by allah correct Yes. Okay. But do you even have a black stone? Do we have a, a, a what? Do you even have a black stone? The Kaaba. It's, it's, no, no, the black stone. We're talking about the black stone. Don't you know that there's no black stone left? There's no black stone. So you're kissing what? You're kissing wax. This is the picture of your black stone, very clear picture, close by. Wait, no, look with me, uh, uh, Jihad. I'm here to help you. I'm not your enemy, my friend. Let me see if I can make it better. Hold put it on. on the screen. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I will put it in the screen. So why you don't want to answer about the Bible? We, we, you do not ask me about the Bible to answer. And we're talking about your Quran now. Don't change topic. So Yeah, but you said okay, you will uh, give me a no chance problem. to talk about you, Bible. You, you asked me about Mary. I answered you. You forgot. I did not say I will not answer no, you. No, but I, because, okay. because listen, I thought listen, you listen, ran guys. away with another Muslim no, I never about ran number away. I'm 31. The last, I'm the last one who ran away. All of them, they are potato like you. Listen carefully. This is you the black stone. Some... This is the black yeah, stone. Yeah, yeah. Where is the black yeah, stone? Yeah. Where is the black stone? There's no black stone. This is wax. There's little tiny rocks. Well, the black stone in the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh-huh. It was, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's so, it, it's what? It's not, it's, you know, we have the Kaaba, so the stone, it's, Don't uh, to go to the Kaaba time. now, I'm talking about the black stone. Where is the black stone? Is, if Allah, he order you that this black stone, and he told you this black stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment, that's mean Allah will preserve the stone. But there's no black stone left. There's little rocks. The rest is wax. All this brown thing, red thing. This is this is wax. The little rocks here are the black stone left. Here we go. This is the black stone. This That's is... what it was. Okay, hold on. That's what it was. So, the, okay, so how Allah He said that this is black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day, and nothing left of it. What kind of God he need wax to maintenance to be done every few days in the Kaaba to maintain His stone? He could not maintain it. Couldn't Allah he send the strongest stone, which a stone will stay forever without even it's a stone, even I mean what kind of a stone they chose? Look at this. There's no stone the left. You have little tiny rocks, and they are the same the same size as you, the one your prophet used to by to the wipe, miracle of Allah on, on the day of judgment. What miracle? It's Look, it's it's gone. There's no stones. Look, this is this is one, this is two, this is the second one next to it, and this is one, and this is one. And this is one, and this is one. That's it. Nothing left. Because a lot of time has passed. My friend, how this? You, you said you are kissing the black stone. But where is the black stone? It's 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 at, it's in the Kaaba. Okay. Can't Allah preserve His stone and will not be affected by time? What kind of He's God? He's gonna preserve so, it on the day of judgment. Uh, who who needs it in the day of judgment now? It's all, hold on. It's it's not a stone anymore. Look, there's little rocks. Okay, so what 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 is what is the significance of this point here? What are you trying to prove? Uh, uh, so a, this uh, is the exactly what I'm trying to prove that Muhammad is an idiot because if he, he said to you that this don't is don't say that. Okay, I, I say that. What you can do about it? Come and kill me. I'm not a, a person did, who's did afraid. Did you see of... me cursing Jesus? 
You curse Jesus every day. You say Jesus. You you you're a prophet. Nobody loves you're Jesus a prophet. as much you're as Muslim. Muslim. Don't love Jesus. You hate Jesus. You curse him every day, and I can prove it to you. You're a prophet. He said that Allah. When when Khadija was dying, he said to her, "Say hello to my wife. My greetings. My 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 wives." She said to him, "Did you marry women before me?" He says, "No, but Allah. He promised me the mother of Jesus." Your, your, your prophet, your filthy prophet, he said that he is going to have sex with the mother of Jesus. Is that cursing to Jesus? Is that hateful to Jesus? Or this is respect That's to Jesus? That's a lie. That's a lie. Okay, what, That's if, a lie. what if I show you right now and I will make you... You are spreading, you are spreading propaganda. Okay. I don't I, know I, if I, you are jihad. getting paid by Israel. Jihad. Jihad. Oh, you go paid by Israel. <laughs> okay, Jihad, listen. What if I show you the reference? You know, I, 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 I am Palestinian. And I know Abdul, you are not a Palestinian. I am Palestinian. You are not. You are not. Huh? Aren't you Muslims believe that Omar Khattab he entered this land? Are you an Arab or Palestinian? My friend, my uh, grandfather was removed from Arab? his home in 1948. <clears throat> my friend, are you huh? an Arab or Palestinian? But uh, Palestinians are Arab. What are you talking about? Okay. I thought I, I thought the first time Amr Khattabi entered, it was after the death of Muhammad. Okay, so what you have? Okay, now so listen, listen, don't change, don't change topic. Don't, 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 don't change the topic. In, in, if, in I the you, region. if I show you the reference and the hadith, but that Muhammad, hold on, hold on. If I show you right now the reference that your prophet, he been promised by Allah to have sex with Mary. You said to me, I'm making things up. This is hateful. Correct? Here we go. This is the hadith. Let me read it for you. Actually, I can show it to you even from Ibn Kathir. All right? So, let me give you the reference. And everybody will see in, in two seconds uh, if this is true no or not. No such thing as Palestine. Look, look. Go ahead. Yeah, there's nothing that's called Palestine. Why are you are saying that? Why you are saying, you know, there's no Palestine. Even your God, Allah never mentioned Palestine. We will go there. You see, they are not making things up. This is your, this is your religion. Even your God, he mentioned. So are you, do you, do you not this support is, the Palestinians? Hold on, hold on, don't you talk. This is Ibn Kathir, page number four, 74. You see it? Read it. Huh? Ya Khadija. Ya Khadija. <laughs> I don't see it, CP. He will see it soon. He will come to you. Here we go. I put in the screen already. Ama alimti anna Allah qad zawajani ma'aki fi jannah Maryam bintu Amran. Ibn Kathir, value number two, page number 74. I will click a translation, Google translation, so everybody can see. This is Ibn Kathir, and there is a majma al There's many, many uh, you know, books. Don't you know that Allah, he married me to Maryam? The daughter of Amran, even the sister of Musa, Muhammad, you know, uh, the sister of Musa. <laughs> Muhammad, he think Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the sister of Musa. The Jannah, Maryam bint Amran. So, did I, did I oh, look at this! Uh -huh. Look at this! Uh -huh. He goes to the Shia library. My friend, this he is goes to the book is, of the Shia. Abdul, this is a Nika The Shia, the Shia are a bunch of are a bunch of liars. Ah, and the Shia, but, okay, the Shia Kathir, are a bunch of liars. Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir. If you read, if you read the is book it, is it of you? Shia, it's is like it you're you? reading oh, Al-Layla, so, Layla. Listen, 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 listen Layla, Layla. Like a bunch of cartoon hey, movies okay, of Shia. Okay, guys, the book of Shia cartoon movie, not Muhammad. Muhammad is, is a cartoon too, but listen. Is it you who mentioned to me last time that you accepted Ibn Kathir? This is Ibn Kathir. This is a Shia library website, which means all Islamic books. But is it Ibn Kathir Shia version? There's no Shia version. Here we go. This is page. This is part number two. Very number two. Page number seventy-four. What Shia version? This is your book. No, no, no. This is the Sunni book. Come to the Shia, This is, this is Sunni book. This is Sunni book. This is not Shia. <laughs> So this is it, Shia you, version of Ibn No, here we go. Okay, open or okay, open Ibn Kathir. Guys, this is Shia version. Open Ibn Kathir, chapter, uh, value number two, page number 74, and read for us. Now, for sure, they will say to you, this is weak and this is garbage, etc. But your prophet, he said have... that. But listen, listen. Okay, what? Say, okay, hold on. You said, you said, you said the Shia, they are, they are, they are what? Their books are cartoon. Why? 
It's like you're reading Alf Layla or Layla. Like, why, why? It's like 100, yeah. 1,000 night and night, he's saying. Like, why? I'll give you an example. You know, it's like a story. Give me an example. You know, they, they, they have so much, so many weird stuff they believe. Like what? Uh, you know, they, you know, they believe in 12 Imams. You don't believe in 12 Imams? You believe in the same? No, they, they, they believe in, in, you know, you have to wear certain shoes and they, you know, it's, it's funny stuff what they believe. Okay, well, isn't it your, okay, let me ask you, there's a hadith of the Shia, they speak about if you enter the bathroom, and with your, uh, with your with your right foot, shaitan, he will play with your bowels. Is that true hadith or fake? Shia, I believe it. If you go in the bathroom without saying a prayer, shaitan, he will go inside your anus. Now you're play. trying to play. You're trying to to, to to play a trap on me. Now I know that. Ah, I know so that. so so you agree now? This is a cartoon story. Well, if you say the Shia, they have cartoon stories. Well, then you have to agree that here we go. I just showed you that Adam he landed in Sri Lanka. Is that a cartoon or not? I just showed you the Sunni Sheikh saying that. Adam he landed in Sri Lanka. Okay, if Adam he landed in Sri Lanka, yeah, huh? the Sheikh, the Sheikh. Who no, is this is this is your prophet. No, this is your prophet saying that he's quoting your prophet. <laughs> it's true. He, yeah, he's quoting your prophet. He's not making things up. You know, he's saying this is a, you know I I I can play it for you again. So this is this is from the Hadith. This is from the Hadith of the Sunni. So you Muslims, you have more stories and you have same stories as the Shia. So now, if I ask you, do you agree really that Adam he came down to Sri Lanka or you don't? Well, it's possible that he did, but I wasn't aware of this. Ah, uh, so a second ago you were talking about Shia funny stories, and now it's possible. What is possible about it? Let us go and look at the the, the map of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island. Uh, but, but I I didn't know. I wasn't aware of that. No problem. I wasn't no, aware. Okay, no problem. Now you are aware. So now Sri Lanka is an, uh, uh, in the map in the in the map as we see it. It's an island. It's not connected to the to the land. Okay, now Adam he landed there. Allah he sent him down to Sri Lanka. That's wonderful. How Adam was able to go all the way to Mecca? When you know Sri Lanka is an island. This is the first man. Don't tell me he took a boat. He don't have tools yet. But Adam, you know what he had? That he had direct. What direct? Adam. Listen. Okay, Allah, he sent him down to Sri Lanka. Okay, we got that. Now, Muhammad. He, no, he didn't say Sri Lanka. He said India. No, he said Sri Lanka. I can play it again. He said Indo Peninsula or something. No, he like said this. India. He said India. He said India and he okay. says and he says Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka okay, is so, part, my friend. Sri so Lanka, you have to go a little bit west. Okay, hold on. So on Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Lanka is an island. So now okay. Adam, he have to go all the way through India. Keep going. Keep okay, going. this is stupid. This is stupid. He didn't go to Sri Lanka. He's talking about maybe you know India close to. Afghanistan or something like okay, that. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? The, the the problem is that you cannot hear. I, I'm trying to find a way to make you hear my audio. Hold on. Let me see if I can adjust that, so you can hear the video with me, without switching. Uh, let us see if I can add an audio source, because the only way to make you have that now is, let us see how we add one. Maybe we cannot add one now. Okay. Add makes but you know what let us uh, 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 let, I, I will leave the audio available to my microphone even that will make your voice less less clear so everybody can hear mute youtube please be sure you youtube is muted so let us go and see what all right 
Here we go, we will play the video so you can hear it with us. Suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. He came down in what is known as the indo pax subcontinent, precisely Sri Lanka. Huh? There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything, but I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? In Jidda. <laughs> Where is Jidda? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula, in what we know today as Saudi Arabia. And what is the meaning of Jidda or Jadda or Judda? It means the grandmother. It is. Here we go. So Europe, your prophet Adam, he landed. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So your prophet Adam, he landed where in India? Where specific specifically is in Sri Lanka? And he is saying there's a spot there, but he is not sure if that is spot really true is the one. But for sure it is Sri Lanka. So now we, we confirm that. And not only that, even if she landed in Jeddah. So look what happened. Mute you too, please. I hear my voice twice. So look what happened. Are you there? Oh, YouTube is mute. Okay, so look what happened now. You you mentioned the cartoon stories in the Shia books. Be honest with me, Jihad. If there is more cartoon story than this, that now we have a wife and husband. The wife, she landed in Saudi Arabia. And the husband, he landed in Sri Lanka. But this how is, they how they are sure it's Sri Lanka? This is the city. This is the city. This is the city, of, this is the city of Jeddah, and this is the city. This is Sri Lanka. Who said that? Your prophet. And you are the one who laugh at the Shia books. But saying, how do they know about Sri Lanka? They don't say Sri Lanka back then. They say you know Hind or something. Okay, your prophet, he mentioned it. I mean, obviously, this guy is a sheikh. He's not going to say things. You say, okay, you Muslims, when Christian prince, he say, he say, a Christian prince is not telling the truth. Even your sheikh now is a liar. I mean, what's wrong with you? So, he is quoting But can prophet. you bring the hadith itself? Can you bring the hadith itself? You want me to show you the hadith itself? Yeah, okay. I do. Okay. But, but, but nothing is impossible for Allah. He can take Adam and put him... In Jeddah, but he did not. He put Adam. Uh, uh, he put Adam in in Sri Lanka, and uh, Eve uh, in Jeddah. But they have to be together. Okay. So how they how they met? Allah brought them together. Ah, Allah, He brought them together. The, okay. Listen, 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 listen. Let, let me ask you: Is Adam bring the Hadith? Okay, I will show you the hadith. I will show you the hadith. I, I'm going you don't to, have. I, I have it. I have everything. I have everything. You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. You are talking to Christian Prince. Don't, don't play games. Don't even go there. You know you are talking to me, right? Don't play games. Okay, you you you, you are going to get what you are asking for. You know, I have a surprise for you. You know, but because you because you are the one who did lead us to go there, then we have to go there. Okay. Is it true that you Muslim believe that Adam is Buddha? Adam is what? Is Buddha. No, 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 no. Okay. Let us see if uh, Adam is Buddha or not. Okay.
My friend, don't play games. Don't 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 be funny for the audience. Okay, I know you have to. Uh, okay, okay, we will to see. make a show. Okay, hold on, okay. I know you have to make a show. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, read with me, and okay, everybody. Okay, okay, read, read with me. Read with me. The one who collect donation is your prophet. Every time, every two minutes he talk, he asks for donation. Did you hear me asking about donation? I I go here every day. And you know, I don't say, hey, people, if you don't make donation, I will not uh, go live. And I was doing most of my life for free without even asking for a penny. So don't talk about donation. It's your you, your prophet who claimed that you have to make a donation to Allah in order to be forgiven. I don't promise people forgiveness if they donate to me. That is a scam. That's what your prophet you do. Now read with me carefully. فَقَالَ إِنَّ أَبَّاسَ فَلَمَّا أُغْبِضَ آدَمَ عَلَى جَبَلِ نُودِ كان رج... كانت رجلاه تمسان الارض وراسه بالسماء ام بوتين هنا ويجو ان هير ذا هذا حديث اوبيت ادم قبل غروب الشمس من اليوم الذي خلقه فيه وهو يوم الجمعه مع زوجته حواء من السماء فقال علي وابن عباس وقتاده وابو العالية بابا 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 انه اوبيت في الهند على جبل يقال له نود من أرض سرنديب وحواء بجدة وقال ابن عباس فجاء في طلبها So let us translate that Allah is sent down Adam in, a, in an area it's called Nood in different uh, hadith it says Nood this is where I think Buddha is coming from جبل نود uh -huh, Nood in some, in some story it says Nood not Nood so Nood so uh, uh, most likely the Muslims, they get the wrong name as usual, like uh, Jesus became Isa, Yeshua became Isa, Mary is the sister of uh, Maryam, the sister of Aaron, uh, uh, you know, uh, all the names are wrong. So mostly, this is an, a, a mountain where Buddha was worshipped. And Muhammad, he claimed that from that mountain, that Buddha, which is Adam, is the one who came all the way to Mecca. And where his wife, she was landing? She was landing in Jeddah, and we heard the Sheikh speaking about it. So here we need to ask ourselves, if your God is sending Adam down with his wife, why your God, he separate them and he put one in Sri Lanka and one in Jeddah. And Jeddah is a dead city. I mean, this is not even, it was not exist. So how a woman, her name is Eve, she will survive in the desert alone. And why a man, his name is Adam, which obviously Buddha, he was sent down to Sri Lanka. And how Adam, he was able to meet his spouse all the way in Jeddah. What do you think, Jihad? You know, I'm showing you reference. I'm showing you what your scholar says, what your sheikh says. What book is that? Uh, this is uh, 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 Ibn al-Athir, the one I'm showing you. I can show you from al al I can show. I can show you from, from Al-Qurtubi. I can show you from you wherever have. you want. Where you, where you want? What, what you want? What do you want? I, all the books I can show you. You are reading things in a wrong way. That's the problem here. Ah, uh, really? You think so, my friend? You are understanding things in a wrong way. Uh, okay, explain to me. We just heard the Sheikh saying that Adam he went sent down to Sri Lanka, and uh, you know, and uh, Eve she was sent down to Eve. So is the Sheikh too? He get it wrong. But Allah must have brought them together. Uh, okay, but uh, Allah uh, did bring them together. No problem. Do you agree with this or you don't? Yeah, I agree with whatever whatever it says, but it, but but why is that a big deal if if Allah can do anything? Well, isn't it a big deal for you? You you say the Shia they have funny stories, stupid stories. Now this story is okay. So when the Shia, they believe if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. You laugh at it. And now you see this story you don't laugh. How come? Are you being a hypocrite? Well, I, I don't find anything wrong with the okay. story. How, be... Okay, how Adam he found, uh, uh, how Adam he found Aisha? Aisha? Sorry, with the with the uh, Eve. Sorry, what? With Eve, his wife. This is the book of Al Qurtubi, and I'm showing you images now. Let me show you. 
This is a Jamia li Ahkami Quran, Al Qurtubi. Hmm? And this is the quotation from Al Qurtubi. It says, Oh, be the Adam as a Randiba fil Hind, be Jabberin, you call Rahu Booth. You see the name of the, the, the mountain Booth, Booth, from Buddha. The mountain of Buddha. Where Adam came? In the mountain of Buddha. Your Adam, according to Islam, is Buddha. And not only that, they explain why Adam became bold. Because he was so tall, and the, and the cloud, the cloud, brother, he was touching his head, and that made him bold, brother. Yeah, do you see it? The sky was touching his, his, uh, uh, his uh, head, because he was so tall, brother. And that made him, brother, bold. Do you agree with that or you don't? Bold? Bold, bold. The reason he became bold was because of that. Because he was so tall and the cloud was touching his head. So he lost his hair. He became bold. bold. What is this book? This is a Jamia or the Ahkam al Quran al Qurtubi, Imam al Qurtubi, my friend. Show respect, please. Stop saying what this book you are screaming at al Qurtubi, shame on you. My friend, we. My friend, listen. Hmm. I'm listening. Allah is capable of all things. Okay, so you agree now that Adam, he became bold because the cloud, he was so tall, and the cloud touched his head. And you agree now that he went down in a mountain called the mountain of Booth or Buddha. Correct? Yeah, I believe whatever Allah says. Okay, wonderful. So how come you made fun of the books of the Shia when your books is coming with this? Okay, now, so now Adam, he became bold. Guys, Adam was bold, okay? And why he lost his hair? Because simply he was so tall, brother, so tall, alhamdulillah. And the cloud was like, keep touching his head, touching his head, to the point he lost his hair. Unbelievable. I mean, you have to be careful about yourself, my friend. I mean, if I am, if I am, wear a hat, my friend. Uh, somebody tell tell Adam to wear a hat. So look at this, and let us translate use Google translation so people will not say all the books we are showing you here is authentic. Like this is Sahih Ibn Khuzaima, Sahih Ibn Khuzaima. All right, and this is an Islamic website we are showing. Here it says. Al Qurtubi says in his famous tafsir, Al Qurtubi, Adam, he was sent to the area it's called Serendib, which is Sri Lanka. Descended to India to a mountain called Buddha. Do you see it? Buddha. Buddha. This is a translation. Buddha. Buddha is a Buddha. Your, religion, Buddha. your religion is a Buddha religion. So Adam is Buddha who came all the way to Mecca. And he was sent, and he was sent down from Allah. Why Allah He sent him to a mountain called Buddha? This is what. This is how we do it. What? What? I will. I will. I will ask a sheikh about this. Hey, come on, you want to ask a sheikh about this? Uh, what what do you mean you will ask a sheikh? Well, how come you cannot debate any sheikh? Are come, you scared? How, 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 the, the question is, where is your sheikh? Here we go, I'm here. Why you don't call your sheikh right now and says, hey guys. Why you don't the, challenge the uh, sheikh? His I name ch is uh, I Muhammad Arifi. I will challenge all of them. All of them are potato. Here we go in front of you. Be my No, witness. he has to know Arabic. Uh, doesn't matter. Arabic, English. Okay, so uh, even better. I challenge all the sheikhs are exist in the world. I accuse them to be a bunch of shaky. They don't dare to debate me and I challenge you Mr. Uh, uh, Jihad to do Jihad and call them and say hey guys we have this guy he accepted to challenge you who is going to talk to him and you do this you call them you put them live on air with me and you are I will, I will make you the moderator for the debate what do you think you are the one who moderate even time you know we will give them like we will do it like equal time but not for long i mean like uh, because the problem is you mute people you uh, cut uh, them you, off you will be the you will be the, moder them. you will be the moderator 
You will be the moderator. When you say to me, it's time, your time is up, my time is up. When you say to him, your time is up, his time is up. And people will be the judge. If you were very okay, Al Qurtubi says in his famous Far tafsir, okay. Adam descended in India to a mountain called the Buddha, hmm. and with him was the wind of paradise, uh -huh. baldness. Uh -huh. Okay, and then he became bald because the sky was touching him. The wind of paradise came, and he was so tall. And then he, my friend, we cannot, we cannot question Allah. We I know. Question Allah. Yeah, we cannot question. So okay. Yeah. Because you have to understand, CP, th th this life is a test. Uh, what does have to do with okay. my question now? What does have to and do? With, what does have to do with my question? I'm gonna explain. Uh -huh. to you, Allah is not gonna is not gonna give you everything, which which makes clear sense to you, because He needs to 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 know that you have faith. Hmm. And when you have faith and you worship him, hmm. then you have a chance to, to, to go to Jannah. Hmm. But it's not guaranteed. Hmm. That's number one. Hmm. And number two, what I see in the Christians is they don't care about the Akhirah. They love the world. Why? They uh, love the world. How come? We are, we are allowed to have only one wife. It is you Muslims who go after your penis, keep divorcing, marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing, marrying, and you do muta, and you do misyar, and you do zawaj a friend, and you are the one who love the world. You are the one who like to own slaves. You are the one who like to abuse women who they are poor. And even the Quran says, if you know, if you have an orphan, have sex with her. And what kind of religion says have orphan with this, have sex with the orphan? So it is you who love no. The it says it you is, have to deal you, kindly with them. No, it says you have sex with them. I want to show you the no, verse? Chapter, no, no, no. I know it says you have to deal no, justly uh, uh, with the No, orphan. justly in what? In bed, right? <laughs> justly. <laughs> and not consume their property. Uh, okay, but you have sex with them. Is that how you have, how they have a property and you will take uh, and you, will, you are helping them? So they are, they do not need your help. Leave them alone. So what do you do? You have sex with them. But it doesn't say that. Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Now, let us focus here. So the black stone obviously is a pagan stone. You must then believe that Allah He sent Adam a Buddha to the mountain. It's called the mountain of Buddha. Why it's called mountain of Buddha? You see, Allah He sent Adam to the mountain. It's called the mountain of Buddha. Why it's called the mountain of Buddha? Because obviously Buddha was there, right? Or named Allah named it the mountain of Buddha because there's no people yet. There's no people yet. There's no human being. But. So why Allah he called that mountain? But this goes again. But 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 but, but here we go. Here hmm. we go. Hmm. This is not the story we get in the Quran about Adam. Hmm. Who cares? This is not the story Who we cares? get are in you, the Quran are you about saying, Adam. Are you, are you saying that your your prophet and your Muslim you create stories that they don't make sense? Are you saying you we Muslim you lie about Islam? Isn't this your Islamic books? This is is isn't this is your book? Is it is that like a book? But of the what I'm telling you is that this story Stop telling me. is not consistent. Where where how is it consistent? Hold on, hold on. So the Sheikh he was speaking in TV. How come nobody stand for him? Says this is not consistent. You know, you idiot. How come none of you flag his video? You idiot. How come you don't say to him this guy is a kafir teaching lies? You idiot. You make videos about me saying Christian prince is lying, and I am showing you reference. But when you shake, he said show the same reference. You don't go and flag his videos, and you don't cry, and you don't say he's lying. One hundred seven lie. One hundred ten lie. One hundred five lie. So is that a lie? You just said yes. But none of you open his mouth because you are hypocrite. For now, it is laughable. We expose it, how stupid it is. You try to deny it, but this guy shake video is there for a century, and Muslims give it like, and Muslims love it, and nobody complain about it, and all the videos are the same. But now, because listen, the Muslims do, the Muslims do have debates about certain issues. No, you don't okay? debate Muslims. You kill each other. You don't debate. I never heard a Muslim debate in a Muslim since when. When, when, when the Mu'tazila, when those people, they say certain things about the Quran, you kill them. What debate? So, don't tell me we debate, and now I'm showing you. Do you agree that, okay, how, how tall was Adam? Do you know? According to what? According to Islam, how tall he was. Because here it says he was so tall in this book, to the point his head was touching the cloud, and that's why he became bold. 
I don't know. I, I'm going to take the Quran, what the Quran says. You, so you don't take what your prophet said? Remember, you are the one who said the Shia books is a cartoon. Well, we don't have... It's not guaranteed that he said it. Not guaranteed? Huh? So if it's not guaranteed, why do you call it Sahih? Go, go, oh, listen, go, go to the story of Adam in the Quran. It's in Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay. Go to you see, it. I have a Muslim, he made a comment as long as we go back here. This Muslim here, he said in that comment, and I will show you in the, in the, in the screen. His name is Mustafa, he said, that does God regret having made a human? He is, he's speaking about in the Bible, it says that God, he regret uh, creating, uh, Adam, he you know, he regret him. The Bible says God is feels sorry for Adam for what he did to himself. He created him to be in heaven, and look what he did to himself. No, he continues saying because a human eating a forbidden fruit and then punished punished him, then uh, uh, them Adam and Eve, then God sent himself to be his son. What do you think about this? Do you agree with it? He's making fun of Christianity. As long as you like to talk about the Bible. He says, it doesn't make sense that God, he punished Adam and Eve because they ate of fruits. And then God, he sent himself to be his son. Do you agree with this logic? Look, I'm going to tell you regarding the story, I, I take the Quran. Hmm. Number two, what about okay, what this Mustafa okay, so, is saying. Okay, so what is the story? You take the Quran. Regarding Buddha or Mabuda or this and that, okay. uh, I, I, I have to check into it. I'm not saying yes, All I'm right. not saying no, but I didn't see that this uh, story about Buddha is in the Quran. Hmm. So that's why I have to think about it, uh -huh. okay, and, okay. And, and, and research about it. All right. So, no problem. That's what I'm telling you. Hmm. But, um, r yeah, so let me ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. Why, if God has a son, why uh -huh. he doesn't have ten sons and a daughter uh -huh. and a grandmother and a grandfather, uh -huh. if God has son? Okay. And the next question is... Okay, now, one by one, one by one, when we say that God has a son, does that mean he has a family? Is that what you understand? <clears throat> yeah, there was a sheikh who, who, who busted a Christian. Okay. And he said, you know, how can God have a son? Why he doesn't have ten sons? All right. Well... How come your God have a three daughters? He doesn't. That's average. But let me tell you something. No, 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 no. Don't change topic. When you're sure if, if God wants to Do, forgive your sin. Huh? Okay. No, no. Don't change topic now about forgiving sin. Let us talk about sons. God have son, didn't have son. Okay. Let me ask you. Why Allah cannot have a son? Can he have son or he cannot? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is the most high. How high he is? So what does that mean? The most high. You keep saying most high. There's nothing high, nothing down. I mean, the earth is round. And now we are high. And after a few hours, we will be down. What high? So you say Allah is up. Where is Allah now? Is Allah, is Allah above you or underneath of you? He is above. Uh -huh. Listen to me. After 12 hours, I will ask you the same question. Listen I say to, I say to you, where is Allah? The verse above, above, the verse above no. this no, no, listen, is listen, listen, abrogated. Listen, listen. Okay. Abrogated. What is abrogated? What is abrogated? You're talking about the the, the, the daughters or oh, this is the say this is this is uh it's been abrogated. Okay, let me ask you. Do Allah have a real daughters or they are not true? I want to ask you a question. I'll put this to the side. Put I'm, this to the side. We'll come you, back to this, it in a moment. This is, this is the question. No, 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 no. You, you need to. Let, I, I, I didn't say anything about the Bible or about no, Christianity. No, talking, so put it to the, the side. Says, you, 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 you ask me a question. We are going to go to talk about it about God having sons. You are the one who mentioned. It. You forgot. We opened the topic already. So I'm asking you. When the Quran speak that Arab, they believe that Allah have a, have a three daughters. Do Allah have three daughters for real, or this is lie? 
This is abrogated. This is not a question. What abrogated? I'm saying, do Allah for real have children and they are daughters or he don't? Okay, I have to go, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> here you see the hypocrisy of this religion when they want they have logic when they want they don't have logic so for the idiot to make the point here he is saying God he sent his, himself first of all we Christian believe that Jesus is a person the father is a person Holy Spirit is a person one God three person one God. If you say how that can be, well, can you explain to me how God can be God anyway? Look like you want to tell God how he can be. Hypocrite. We just heard Jihad saying you cannot question God. But when the Muslim want, they can question God. You cannot question God. But in a second, they can. Now, look what he said here. This Abdul. Who is, you know, those Abdul, by the way, they are priceless. They help us a lot to expose Islam. The one who made comment and the one who called us. So, does God regret having made a human? No, God don't regret. When God, he speak, he regret, he regret what happened to Adam, what Adam did to himself, which means he feels sorry for him. However, he continues saying, because a human have eaten forbidden fruit, but this is a story in your Quran, you idiot, and look like you are making fun of your prophet. And then, then God He sent Himself to be His Son. Nowhere in we Christian we believe in such a thing that He sent Himself to be His Son. The Son is a Son, the Father is the Father. But here you see why Christianity is the most beautiful belief, and they have a true God. Oh, Jihad is calling back. What Jihad? Why are you calling back? Yeah, so nobody can say I'm running away. Oh, you are the hero, my friend. Um, okay, so we go back to our topic. So, did, did, did Allah... Okay, the three daughters. The three daughters. Uh -huh, okay. That was the satanic verse that Allah abrogated. I'm not talking about this now. I'm saying, do Allah have a three daughters re reading? No. He don't? No. Okay. So, what do you think about uh, your prophet sending uh, Khalid ibn Walid uh, to kill the daughter of Allah? Saying what? What is your say about your prophet sending Khalid ibn Walid to kill the daughter of Allah? Khalid ibn al-Walid mm -hmm. Is that in the Quran? No, not in the Quran. This is from your, your prophet statement. It's in a hadith? Mm -hmm. Well, I... So? Is it, can you put the reference? Okay. But I'm asking you now, before we put the reference. Uh, I don't agree that Allah has daughter. So how Muhammad, he sent his man to kill his daughter? It's not true. Well, okay, let us see. It's let not me. a true hadith. It's not a true hadith. Uh, And why is it if, if your sins are going to be forgiven, why God did not put more prayers on you, put more sacrifice on you, put we, we more atonement just wait, on you? We will go back there. Why he just Hold sent on. a don't, man don't, don't and let by, him be killed and just, humiliated just to... Just wait, wait, one by one. You don't go there until we finish this one. We will go. We have time. You said you will not run. I like that. No. But I don't have that much long. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I have time. You don't. This is your problem, my friend. 
this is not my problem stay and we will see here we go I will this do what I can to bust this you. is the book this is the book of uh, let's see here hold on give me a second Let us see. All right. I will put it for you on the screen, and you can read for us. This is the story. This is the book of Al-Bidayah and Nihaya, Ibn Kathir. So you cannot say this is Shia book. Your prophet, Muhammad, he sent uh, uh, Khalid ibn Walid, and he sent him in a mission. And the mission is to find Al-Uzza and to kill her. So Khalid, he went there. If somebody has the link in English, post it, please, for people who speak English. So uh, 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 he sent him there, and this Khalid, he you know he cut a tree, he destroyed a house, he do whatever you know. Muhammad he sent him back. He said, "You're not done. You're not done." So he said to him, "Go back." And then when he went back, he found the woman, and this woman she was black, and her hair was all over her head like you know it's not camp and she was screaming and then he jumped over her with the sword and then he killed her and he says ya uzza kafarnaki la sabahnaki oh uzza we are became kafir against you and we will not praise you and i see that allah he humiliated you and then he destroyed the house and he took all the money inside. He's a thief, like he's a prophet. And then he went back and he told Muhammad. And then Muhammad, he said to him, that was Al-Uzza. Don't ever worship it. Do you see it? Don't worship her. Yeah. But he said, this is Al-Uzza. So how Al-Uzza is a fiction and Muhammad, he killed Al-Uzza. The daughter of Allah. But but she's not the daughter of Allah. No, this is Al-Uzza, the daughter of Allah. The goddess, even here it says, talking about the goddess. So, this is the daughter of Allah, and Muhammad, he claimed that he sent... Where does it say that? Okay, hold on. Who is Al-Uzza? Who is Al-Uzza? The goddess. In front of you, it says, and don't worship her. Why? So because because they worship her. She is the goddess. You are an idiot or what? It says, and don't worship her. Why? It doesn't why? mean daughter. Oh, okay. Why they worship her? Because she is an Uzza. <laughs> it says the way it says that. I mean, what an idiot. It's in the front of you. It says that she is being worshipped. Who? Al Uzza. Who is Al Uzza? Is in the Quran mention Al Uzza is the daughter of Allah. And you're a prophet, he stole the money of that woman who is she's the daughter of Allah. So you're a prophet, he agreed that Allah have the three daughters and he called one of them. And then when he came back where, 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 where does it where, where does it say daughter? Well who is Al Uzza? Who is Al Uzza? Who is Al Uzza? The one the the people worship. The daughter of Allah, right? She is it Al-Uzza? No, is it Al She's is a false it? goddess. Uh, okay, hold on. But how she is false and she is real exist and Muhammad he killed her. And but Muhammad, she's, she's not she's what? not a true god. My she's friend, not my true. Friend. She is not a true or she is exist. If she exists, she's not true. How she can be not a true if she is exist? And she's not a true goddess. Okay, she's hold on, hold on, God. hold on. Does the Quran say, ah, so when the Quran says, have you seen Allah and Al-Uzza? Have you seen? Does the Quran say, have you seen?
Huh? Huh? What the Quran says, have you seen? Say it again. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen? Does the Quran say the word seen? Have you seen? Yeah, but this is what I told you okay. was abrogated. So, hold on. Don't tell me abrogated, this, idiot. The, what does have to do with our first. topic? What abrogated? I'm saying to you now. In the time of Muhammad, Muhammad, he claimed that the Arab, they see a lot and they see al Uzza. But these were abrogated. CP. This is another question. Have they seen it or they did not see it? Did they? Did Muhammad, did the Arab, did Khalid, did these people see Allah and Al Uzza and Manat? Did they see it in the three daughters of Allah or not? No. So the Quran lied then because here it says, Have you seen? No, it says, Have you seen? Yeah. Have you have you seen Allah al Uzza? He didn't see it. No, they didn't see it because he's saying, Have you seen it? Have you seen Allah al Uzza? Yes. Have you seen? No, he's you seen he is confirming. He is confirming. He, no, is, he is confirming that they saw, not the opposite. He did not say they are not exist. Not only that. How Look how your God Allah, question. look your God Allah, he complained about what? He said like what? For you the male sex. This verse is abrogated, my friend, okay. is abrogated. Okay, is abrogated, what does that mean? So you Muslim, you used to worship Allah and Al-Uzza and now you should not worship him no more? What do you mean by abrogated? The Prophet stopped all this, whoever did this, he stopped it. Okay, so he stopped you are the one who said to me, Muhammad, before his age of 40, he was following the community. So you're a prophet for 40 years was worshipping Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat, correct? I didn't say that. I just said he he was, you see, he, he was, he knew something wrong with... Uh, no, 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 you don't, don't, with don't his society. As you had it recorded, it's you who said he was doing what the community do. You said that, come on. Why? But in his heart. He was doing what the community he did, he did. does. You know, it's, it's, a, it's your statement. And this is what the community do. They worship the three daughters of Allah. And now we show you the reference. Your prophet sending his man, Muhammad the criminal, to kill a woman claiming that she is the daughter of why he killed that woman tell me go ahead why he killed her if she is not really the daughter of allah just because she is like a woman her hair is crazy and she starts screaming you kill her why he killed her go ahead Squeeze it, no problem. I'm telling you, it's going to come. I am asking you, don't change the topic. I am, if this woman, I am telling Muhammad, you, Muhammad, he said, This is I this is Al Uzza. You. When Muhammad he said, This is Al Uzza, Tilka Al Uzza, okay, so he confirmed that this is Al Uzza. So, this is what they used to was worship, Muhammad, okay, was Muhammad, no problem. They used to worship oh. this woman, so was she really exist and Muhammad killed her? She exists, but she's false. Okay, so guys, she is exist, but she is false. Oh. But those people, they are worshipping Al-Uzza for centuries. So this woman, she lived for many centuries, which she is. She lived in that area, in, in, in Mecca, for centuries and centuries. And those Arab, they worship the three daughters, and they live there for centuries. Are they okay, human? Uh, are they human? They are human. They are women. As you see, it says here, it's a woman. She has a black hair oh. and she's black. Did he kill her because she's black? Why here the reference says she's black? She's black? Yeah, why he's saying? Imra Asawda'un. Don't you see it says Imra Asawda? A black woman. Why Why Muhammad, you want to kill a okay, black woman? Okay, are you going to answer my question about the Bible? Okay, so you, now, okay, we, we will say that you have no answer. Obviously, Islam is full of fiction, stupidity, and here we go. Muhammad is a pagan person, and now he is in competition. He don't like 
Okay. The daughter I'm of Allah. Call. Okay. I'm gonna no. call you next next time. No, don't call me. Call don't call me next time. time. No, let us answer the All question right. you you asked me. What? Uh, repeat your question again. Go. I'm telling you. I'm asking you. Yeah. If God is there. I, I, I lost you. He if, has, if God. Why he what? has to send a man to be humiliated? Well, who said that God has sent a man to be humiliated? He did, he did not. He did not send him to be uh, to be humiliated. It's us who did the crime against him. Oh, okay, let me ask tell you. you fast, okay, did, did Allah did, did Allah did Allah he send Muhammad did, uh, did Allah send Muhammad to the people of Taif and the people of Taif they spank him and they beat him and they humiliated him and they broke his teeth and they made him bleed? Yes or not? They did, right? I can show the reference. So did Allah send Muhammad to Taif to be humiliated? But he's, he's what? No, no, it's different, man. It's different. What, what different? What different? So Muhammad, because you're claiming Muhammad was beaten. Muhammad was a spit. Uh, Muhammad it's was etc. They made fun of him, and Allah He sent him to be humiliated. Why Allah did not say to him, "Don't go"? Here you see the hypocrisy. For us, we know that God, He loved the world, so He sent His only begotten Son. Oh, you're we, not understanding. Okay, you see, you see, you, the Quran says God will not punish you unless He send you a warner, correct? For sins, for sins, to for, die for sins. He didn't send for sins. Well, when I'm saying say, why He sent somebody okay. to be humiliated for. No, He is not sending anyone to be humiliated. And. Muslims, they always fabricate stories. It's not there. Like Mary, she is the wife of God. We don't believe in such a garbage. So we don't believe that Jesus was sent to be humiliated. We believe that Jesus sent to save us. So if some of us commit a crime... But how again, he's going to save you? Why? He, very, he simple, very, more, very, why very simple. If he's going to save you, very simple. he cannot put more fasting, more praying, more this. No, you see, in Christianity, we fast more than you. You Muslim, you don't fast. Your Ramadan is a joke. You just flip the day and night, and you sleep in the night. In the daytime, you wake up in the night time, and you eat like a goat. In Christianity, we have a lot more days of fasting. As That's an example, shut up. In the Christianity, those who follow the Orthodox calendar, or even the Catholic, true. They, hold on. For the Easter, we have 50 days of fasting. For the other occasion, we have 40 days, total at least of 90 days of fasting. Total fasting. Your fasting is a joke. You don't fast. Secondly, yeah, nobody practices. Secondly, nobody secondly does it. you're a prophet. He sucked the tongue of Aisha when he's fasting. He played with her vagina. In USA, in hold USA, on, USA, hold on. Is it, is it halal for the prophet to suck the tongue of Aisha when he's fasting? Is it halal to touch her private part? What kind of fasting this fasting is? So your fasting is a joke. You don't fast. In the same time, you you just switch the day and night, and you eat more. This is why the price of food why? in the month of Ramadan goes skyrocketing. Secondly, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you: Where Muhammad he get his fasting teaching from? Why one man can save sins? Why you do not have more prayers, more duties? Instead okay, of hold on, okay. hold on. You keep this talking about the duty. Uh, I, cannot, I, cannot, I cannot hear you. Your voice is not clear. Listen, he keep talking about more prayer. We Christian, we pray more than you. All day we can be a prayer. You Muslim, you pray five times a day for, for five minutes. You repeat the same stupid thing. You're not even praying. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Five words. You are done. This is not a prayer. You are even repeating the same word of Allah. No, you so, have to hold recite on, hold on. more Quran. No, you don't. You don't. You recite the same words with Muhammad. He said, claiming that Allah said to him, so what is your prayer? You are just a, 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 a parrot. You are a bird who repeat like a, like a phone machine. You know, when you receive this beep, beep, give us your message. You don't even give a message to Allah. You say to him what he said to you. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? You call your God five times a day and you tell him what he said not what you said this is al-fatiha in front of you in the name of allah this is what you say to allah i mean you are talking to allah now you said to him in the name of allah the most gracious and then praise be to allah so Every day I will call Allah five times. I will say to him, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki Yom Deed. But my, my, my friend, the, the Christians in the USA, 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 the Christians in the
Have you ever heard of a stupid prayer like this? Where is the prayer? There's no prayer. So you are repeating yourself five times a day saying what Allah he said. So imagine there's somebody call me in sky five times a day. I say hello. He said to me, Christian Prince, in the name of Allah, the most beautiful, very great, the most beautiful, the most beautiful, the most beautiful, the most beautiful, <laughs> so what is the prayer? You don't what is know? wrong with you? Why are you? Why are you? No, why are you I'm just asking like, you in the front of everybody. Where is the prayer? Where, I'm asking you, you Abdul. I'm asking you in front of everybody. Where is your prayer? I'm listening. This is not your prayer. This is Allah prayer. Where is your prayer? Okay. First of all, first of all, we say Al Fatiha, mm. and then we we say another Quran verse, and no, we need don't. to memorize, no, you which don't. takes no, mental. You don't. You, you don't. This is the prayer. What are you talking about? You say Fatiha and then you say another Quran verse. What Quran Inna verse? Oh. Al okay. What does this have to do with the prayer? Inna al okay. Allah is saying to you, you say to Allah in the Hold on, guys. He said to Allah in the What does that mean? Anything, any verses, my friend. No, you no, say, you, you just said, you know, people you just they said, like to memorize you just the short said, Allah, He gave Muhammad al Kawthar. What is that? His penis? No, no, no. A man, a man, he, a man, he no, 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 okay, no. So don't now you are praying this. for the penis of Muhammad. Hold on. Everybody is my witness. You are the one who said we pray. We mentioned this chapter. Okay, okay. Well, then, which is a stupid lie to say, but anyway. What does this have to do with your prayer to Allah? Allah no, this is Muhammad. about the abundance of good. What the abundance, abundance of good? Of good. What this of this good? life and the person, A person, he accused your prophet that his penis doesn't work. It cut off. That's not true. Read that, it. That, that, okay. That, that, okay, read that, verse that, number. Okay, read verse number three. Don't say, don't say these, my friends. Don't, my okay, friends. I'm not saying. Do not say it's bad the, the, verse, the verse in the front of you. Read it. What kind of God? He says such a chapter. The guy accused Muhammad. That this is finished. a lie to say. No, no. This is a lie to say okay, that the prophet on, hold on. had such a problem. Okay, does it say in Arabic? He did in not Nashani, have such a problem. Does it say in Arabic? In the Shami Akahu al Abtar, cut off, cut off, cut off from what? What is cut off? The guy he was making fun of him. Cut that off. Yeah, cut off. Yeah, cut off from what? Cut off from all good in prosperity, uh, and is deprived of spiritual is it, is it, issues. Is it about but it's about his is it enemy. About because is it about Muhammad? He cannot have ch children. Yes or no? He have children. No, he don't. He can. He didn't have a son. No, he okay, have so children. He no, have he daughters. Never, Muhammad, he never have a child. This is a lie. Fatima. Fatima is not his daughter. Fatima is the daughter of Khadija from previous husband. Khadija, she have three husbands. Khadija, she have a three husbands. Muhammad is number three. She changed cars every few years. She is rich. She marry men for fun. And those children are not from Muhammad. Muhammad is a person who cannot have sex. And they're proven in front of you. Let us go no, and read. No, okay. no, no. Shall we go and read the interpretation for the, for the chapter? Do you agree? If we go and read the interpretation. Chapter 106. Is it about Muhammad cannot Wait. have? Is it about Muhammad? He cannot have babies, or I'm making things up. Maybe there was a few people who accused him. Uh, okay, but is it true that it's about him cannot have babies? Yes or no? He had daughters. This is not the question. No, he don't have daughters. This is why they are making fun of him. Because simply, if you have, if you have, they will not make fun of him. Hmm? Muhammad was an impotent man. How many wives Muhammad he married? How many? How many of them no. they gave him babies? Can you tell me? How many wives what Muhammad he have, and how many of them gave him babies? Is it does it make sense that the woman Khadija? Khadija she was more. But, the, but she, he didn't she, hit my friend. Khadija my she friend. was way older than him. Babies. Muhammad, when he married Khadija, obviously Khadija she cannot have babies no more because she was way older and she had her babies already. Now, after that, he married Aisha, he married tons of women. How come none of them gave him babies? 
because the Prophet didn't come for babies. Ah, but he, he came to deliver a message. Why Allah did not make him have babies? Here we go. The people are making fun of him that he have no son. And even you Muslim, you claim that uh, he have sex with the slave Maria the Kut, and he have a son from her. His name is, is Abdullah. But all of us, we knew that Aisha, she was making fun of that, saying, he don't even look like you. This is a slave. She sleep with everybody. And obviously, Muhammad, he cannot have babies. Let me ask you. Allah, he did not send Muhammad to have babies. Allah, he sent Muhammad to have sex with many women. Why? Why Muhammad don't have only one Aisha and that's it? That's it. He have Aisha now. She's a young, very young child. Because most of those women were widows and he was taking care of them. Oh, he take care of them by, ha by having sex with them. You cannot take care of a woman without having like... I, I, and so if there's a woman, she is hungry, I have to sleep with her in order to feed her? So if somebody want to make a donation for a woman, he, he said to her, "You have to take off your pants for me." But no, but but he but but he married them, so obviously he okay. had he married, the right he, to he married Aisha. To do his marital. What you know, so does she have a childrens? They can take care of her. all of the women. He married them. They are not poor. Why he married them? Let me ask you: Did your prophet? He made a chapter in the Quran says women they can offer themselves to the prophet so he can f them. Okay, CP, that's enough for right. one day. Okay. Let me just... Uh, no, just, just this one before we go my on. Friend. What, just one, what, just one. What does this have to do with God? Why does God, he made a verse saying, any woman she can offer herself to the Prophet so he can offer her. What does this have to do with God? What that will do to Islam? What that will reach Allah? I mean, okay, Allah is God supposed to, right? I will think about saying, it. Huh? What does it have to do with God? The prophet, the prophet, he was a very good-looking man. Ah, he's a very good-looking man. He is sexy, and you know it. So, guys, he was very sexy. So, Allah, he, 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 he need to solve the problem. All the women they want to uh, f him. So, the prophet, he made a verse. Allah sent him a verse. Says, any woman she want to have sex with you, she can offer her panty for you. This is the logic. Because the prophet, he needs to be. He. He needs to be happy. He ah, needs to so, be so the happy, comfortable. Okay, in order to make the Prophet happy, we have to ask all Muslim women to take off their panties and bend over in front of Muhammad. Otherwise, the Prophet is not happy. And, then Allah and he is not took happy. care of them. And he took care How of them. How he take he care, took of care of them? Guys, did you hear it? They bend over and he took My care friend, of them. My friend, why are you talking in this? Why are you I'm twisting you, things uh, in what this way? To do? You say, why? Look, it's you who said that. It's you who said he is very handsome. It is you who said that because Allah, he want him to be happy, which means he want his penis to be happy. It's sex, it's about sex. Muhammad already had many wives. Why Allah, he made the verses saying, any woman she want to offer himself, what that had to do with God? You said because he want to make the prophet happy. So your prophet happiness is through his penis. And when the penis of Muhammad is happy, Allah is happy. This is a penis God religion. Even when you go to heaven, Allah, he do what to you? He, he, you know, he reward your penis. So, he's the prophet. So he's what if he's a prophet? prophet? So he, so if he's a he, prophet, he, he, have to he, be pro he has a very hard job. Uh, what hard job? He's having sex with all those women. Is that the job? What is the job? If a man is a prophet of God, should not have time even for those women. But your prophet obviously is not a prophet. He has, he, he have time to have sex. All those women offering themselves. And my now friend, he is saying to me, all a day long, the prop, my friend, you have to understand about the prophet all day long. He is listening to the problems of people. He is ah, mediating this field. He is okay. giving advice I, I to here, people. Oh, I am here almost every day for five, six hours. Now those women who they are listening to me, excuse me, ladies there, they have to sleep with me because I'm listening to them. What kind of excuse that is this? Are you, aren't you ashamed of yourself? So now Musa, he said, if you want, because I'm, I'm serving you as a nation. Oh, oh, Moses, leader, see, your wives have to sleep with me. Listen to me. You can have four wives in Judaism. No, no, you cannot. That's a lie. Yes, you can. Okay, 100 percent. Okay, show me the verse. I'm gonna get a video of a rabbi. Ah, uh, go ahead, get a rabbi, a rabbi. The Bible says a, a man shall not multiply his wives. If you do that, he is breaking the law of God. He shall not. There multiply. is a rabbi who said it. He is a stupid like you. Just go. Find it and call me back. Potato, a rabbi. Who care about rabbis? We have the Bible, my friend. Stupidity is amazing.